اهلا بكم My talk today will be about the cholangiocarcinoma Cholangiocarcinoma is uh, adenocarcinoma arising from the bile ducts 90% arising from extrahepatic bile ducts and 10% arising from intrahepatic bile ducts The intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma either arising from peripheral bile ducts or arising from the central bile ducts or by other words from the confluence of left and right hepatic ducts or what is known as Klatskin tumor. Male affected more than females and usually affect the old age above the 50 years old. Uh, radiographic findings depend on the location of the tumor. The extrahepatic type present with marked dilatation of extra and intrahepatic barrier radicals before recognizing the tumor itself. The intrahepatic central type, I mean the Klotzkin tumor, is diagnosed whenever you find marked intrahepatic biliary radicals dilatation with normal caliber of common bile duct. So don't forget, any dilatation of intrahepatic biliary radicals with normal caliber of common bile duct, it is a Klotzkin tumor or central cholangiocarcinoma until proven otherwise. The peripheral type of cholangiocarcinoma appreciated on enhanced CT in the form of hypodense mass lesion with sometimes peripheral enhancement, but the characteristic feature is enhancement in the delayed phase because peripheral cholangiocarcinoma containing a fibrotic tissue. And you know that the fibrotic tissue is usually enhancing in the delayed phase. Also, this fibrous component is responsible for the retraction of the adjacent hepatic capsule. So don't forget, any tumor and delivery, not enhancing in arterial phase and portal venous phase, but enhancing in the delayed phase, associated with adjacent retraction of the hepatic capsule, it is a peripheral type of cholangiocarcinoma until proven otherwise. Now, I will show you three cases. One case for extrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, one case for intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, the central type or clotting tumor, and one case for intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, the peripheral type. The first case for a 65 years old female patient presented with the jaundice. A CT study with intravenous contrast administration was done. Revealed marked intrahepatic biliary radicals dilatation as you see here here we have marked intrahepatic biliary dilatation seen in the left loop as you see here as well as in the right loop of the liver the status post cholecystectomy with surgical clips are seen in the gold bladder fossa so we have marked intrahepatic biliary dilatation the liver is a smooth outline homogeneous density no evidence of any focal lesion could be seen the Common bile duct is a huge dilated, as you see here, up to its distal end in the descending part of the duodenum, as you see here. So we have marked dilatation of the common bile duct, as well as marked intrahepatic biliary radical dilatation with no significant mass lesion could be appreciated. In the coronal image, here again, this would be common bile duct marked dilated up to its distal end with no significant mass lesion could be seen. But this is usually the radiological presentation of distal extrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. Marked dilatation of the common bile duct, marked intrahepatic biliary radical dilatation with no significant mass lesion could be seen. And this is a case of distal cholangiocarcinoma proven later on by ERCP and biopsy. The second case for a man 86 years old presented with the jaundice. The ultrasound reveals, as you see, marked intrahepatic biliary dilatation. Appreciated in both loops, as you see here. So these are marked dilatation of intrahepatic. These echogenic foci are pneumobilia or air in the biliary tree. So we have marked dilatation of the intrahepatic biliary radicals. Here we have to go to the region of the common bile duct. This is the region of the common bile duct. The common bile duct here is of normal caliber, about uh, only four millimeter. So regarding the normal caliber of common bile duct and the marked interhepatic biliary radical dilatation, our diagnosis from ultrasound is classic tumor or central cholangiocarcinoma until proven otherwise. Further evaluation by CT is 
uh, recommended. This is a CT done with intravenous contrast administration. Here we have confirmation of marked intrahepatic biliary radicals dilatation. As you see here, this is stent inserted in the common bile duct to relieve the obstructive biliary radicals. The common bile duct itself is not dilated. So we have marked intrahepatic biliary dilatation with normal caliber of common bile duct and biopsy after ERCP prove that it is a classical tumor or central cholangiocarcinoma. The third case for a male patient 67 years old. The ultrasound was demonstrating hepatic mass lesion, so further evolution by CT was advised. CT was done with triphasic study, revealed large mass lesion located in segment 4 and segment 5. If you notice, there is the retraction of the adjacent capsule seen here. The mass itself is not enhancing in the arterial phase and also not showing significant enhancement in the portovenous phase, but in the delayed phase, there is significant internal enhancement here. Again, this is the retraction of the adjacent capsule. So as we said, if you have mass lesion in the river showing delayed enhancement as you see here along with retraction of the adjacent capsule it is peripheral cholangiocarcinoma until proven otherwise so this is everything regarding the cholangiocarcinoma the extra hepatic type and its presentation on ct with marked dilatation of the common bile duct and marked dilatation of intrahepatic biliary radicals the intrahepatic central type or galactic tumor which appreciated as marked dilatation of intrahepatic biliary radicals with normal caliber of common bile duct and the intrahepatic peripheral type which appreciated on CT as non-enhancing mass in arterial and portovenous phase but enhanced in the delayed phase and associated with the traction of the adjacent hepatic capsule. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.